Your privacy. My data. Things have changed. You see something you like, you double tap. You see something you dislike, you tweet about it. You are in a relationship, update your relationship status. Wanna browse news, do it online. Wanna find out your credit score, do it online with the trusted agency. Wanna trade stocks, use an app. Interested in buying some new clothes, do some online shopping. Wanna track your calories, use app. Having health problems, Google it. Having relationship problem, Google it. Thinking of going outside, take your phone. What could possibly go wrong? What if I told you every location that you visit physically can be recorded? Your name, your age, your height, your weight, where you live, where you work, your family, your friends, your likes, your dislikes, your phone number, your email, your health conditions, your buying habits, your credit score, your political beliefs, your religious beliefs, who you text. These are all examples of data points. And these pieces of data are very valuable things. Where is personal data sourced? In order to source this information, begin by scraping data from public records. Things like social media pages, property records, court records, birth certificates, voter registration information, bankruptcy records. Then go ahead and purchase data from other companies. That's right. Other companies that have your data can make an extra stream of revenue for themselves by selling the information they have on their customers. Create free websites and services that collect data from your users. Put trackers on these websites, services that detect a user's location, their contact list, their photos, etc. Creating profiles from our data. Finally, once we've gathered all this data, we can begin to create profiles of individuals. This can detail an individual's behavior, personality when it comes to their buying habits, their likes, dislikes, their political affiliations, their health concerns, etc. Once we have created these profiles, it's time to sell. Selling the data. You can sell this information to pretty much whoever wants it. The most common customers that data brokers have at the moment are marketing companies. If a gym had a list of individuals who were interested in getting fit, that would be a very valuable audience for them to target with their advertisements. But you can also sell this data to health insurance companies, banks, search, websites, governments, and other data brokers. The dilemma. Although it sounds quite sinister, this industry does pose a dilemma. If many of the free websites and apps that you use require your data in order to stay profitable, is it really such a problem? If it's just being used for marketing purposes, is there a big consequence to that? This is a current argument that is going on in the industry at the moment, and it's one that I have struggled with getting to grips with as well. One thing that I do believe strongly is that the way in which your data is managed, should be regulated fair more than it currently is. Kuldeep underscore who.